One of the things that's mentioned quite often on this channel is the name of it, the average golfer, and often people refer to it in relation to handicap, and that was never what the title was intended to mean. It was about the average golfer dilemmas that we face, the experiences that we have, how we enjoy the game, what we take from the game. That was the idea behind it. And today is one of those dilemmas in that I've had an issue which I've no doubt every other average golfer out there will have faced in their time. And that is quite simply, I'm driving the ball particularly poorly right now. And what do I blame? I blame the driver that's in my hand, or at least I start to question the driver that's in my hand. And we all know the likelihood is it's far more to do with my swing than it is to do with the club. But it has got me asking questions. Do I change the club? Do I change my swing? Or do I simply adjust the club? I'll have to find out, and that's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to hit some balls. And uh, I'll also explain why this bag behind me is really important. It's the, uh, well, it's the winning bag of uh, US Open champion John Rahm, and you've got the chance to win it. And I'll explain how later on in this video. But for, first of all, I need to hit some golf balls, and I'll explain this dilemma a bit more. Right, so the dilemma starts here. I've got to first explain, for those of you who don't watch the channel frequently, the driver I chose to use last July, I think it was, so almost approaching a year now, was the Callaway Big Bertha B21, which I hated the look of. I hated the offset. I didn't think it would work, but for some unknown reason, go back and watch the videos that I produced, because I produced a number of them, because I questioned it on multiple occasions on how, in fact, it was working for me, but it did. But the fact is, I was always struggling with a huge amount of offset that was on the driver. And for me, of late, in the last month or so, six weeks, and even the bad shots when I was struggling, or, or the bad shots that I hit even when I was playing well, I always had a sort of huge sort of closed face to the left. And it was just a straight darting low bullet left. And I struggled with it. And in the last month or so, it's happening more and more. And it's cost me heavily. So like I said, you start to question the club in question. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to switch into something fairly neutral in terms of uh, head shape and setting. Also have a little look at uh, what's been going on my swing and then perhaps see if I make some adjustments to the current driver. Is it the shaft in the current driver? What has changed that's making me think of possibly swapping out drivers when I know really I shouldn't do that? Now, one of the first things to talk about is my swing because, uh, well, it's far from technically correct. It's probably a coach's nightmare if they took any kind of look at it. And to be fair, enough people have passed comments on, those on these videos, but it's, uh, I get the ball around in my own unique way. And I'm not, I don't have lessons. I'm not really overly keen on sort of, uh, or I've not got the commitment or time to, uh, to partake in lessons the way really I should do if you were a serious golfer. So, like I said, a quick fix is blame the club and I know that's not right. So I've been spending an hour here this morning hitting some golf balls, first of all, with this B21 driver, changing a few things. And to be fair, I started off pretty ropey to say the least, as I've been playing. Massive difference for me. I've just moved my tee in position very uh, well, quite considerably actually from way off my front foot. Maybe it was just a little bit too far off that front foot. And again, that's one of these things where as an average golfer, I love messing around and sort of trying to find out a fix. and. Probably has nothing to do with it, but right now I seem to have moved that ball just a little bit back in my stance and things are working out. But there are still issues with this B21 driver. But again, how many of you just come down to the driving range and mess around a little bit? And isn't that part of the, the, the love of the game itself, trying to figure it out yourself? So at the moment, I kind of had the ball, hopefully we're picking that up on camera, uh, maybe not, I'll do another shot of that, is the ball really off, off what I thought was my front foot, probably was a little bit in front of it and I've just moved that back what seems considerably and all of a sudden we've got the ball going quite straight <laughs> that's really straight so that's probably in fear of it in that camera as well but it's made a massive difference but there are still issues with what is happening with this big Bertha driver every now and again with that offset that I referred to so I'm going to switch up to another driver as I'm sure you would do right now in this position as an average golfer and as we like to fiddle and mess around. I'm gonna try the Epic Speed, which is always the one that was in the back of my mind. And I'm also gonna to go to that heavier shaft. This was the other dilemma. 45 grams of shaft in reg was never what should have been working for me. 
it did it worked perfectly fine then but i think as the round progresses as i quicken up as i get a little bit excited as i try and hit that ball a little bit harder as we do as we start to loosen up that's when things are kicking in and that's when the reg shaft is maybe just backfiring on me so it's going to be a hazardous smoke 60 gram stiff shaft in an epic speed ed and see what happens are there any major differences right quick interruption and uh, a quick chat about this uh, bag that uh, you've probably seen in uh, john rahm's hands uh, he was carrying his clubs to victory in the us open just a few days ago we have that bag and the three head covers to give away courtesy of callaway golf but it's as a prize in the average golfers day on july 23rd out to be held at conway golf club so we're giving away two places in that golf day all you need to do is comment down below i want to win in the comment section and at the end of this week we're making a draw two of you will get the chance to play in that event and then you'll get the chance to win this bag which will probably be first prize but there's also some incredible things going on in terms of prizes for uh, tea times at dundonald links tea times at presswick putters giving away drivers giving away the list is absolutely endless so irrelevant to whether you win the prize or not make sure you check out in the link below how you can enter that and if you're available on july 23rd and can get to conway golf club then i suggest you do so but for the time being comments down below i want to win now of course it is not a head-to-head -head by any means and this is very much about a personal situation to me but a dilemma that many of us would face so the big deal right now is that an address all of a sudden it's like almost a uh, you know it's what i'm used to seeing it's a more natural teardrop kind of club head than rather than that elongated b21 there's not the offset anywhere near there's still offsets on it but nothing like what i'm looking at so i don't feel as though the club head is facing off to the left and i'm readjusting so straight away much more comfortable at address which is a bonus let's hit one with a camera on and see where this thing goes that's a nice sweet sound out of the speed if anything just pull that one a little bit down the left that wasn't as good as the b21 hit on driver uh, on camera but massive massive differences and how much again is a psychology of this game where people say you know about lessons and that's always the route you should go down if you've got that opportunity to do so but we're also looking for quick fixes and sometimes a quick fix quick fix can be mentally you buy how many times you buy a new club it solves all the problems at least for a very short while and it's a short fix don't get me wrong but from a mental perspective confidence is higher you think differently when you're on the tee and again i think that's a major part of playing this game but i'm more interested in your comments throughout this video how do you address this kind of situation now as ever i like your input and as i explained in the interest of the video as an average golfer i'd normally have uh, turned up into a pro shop grab a few uh, drivers off the shelf maybe test a few and uh, swapped out and i want to know how many of you have done that how many of you done it recently and what is your current thought process when you're struggling with the game of golf is it back to the coach and get some lessons or is it in fact like i say blame those clubs and buy something new and be honest with your answer right so what i then did was i went on to hit a number of shots with with each driver with my new uh, ball position in terms of uh, my stance and it did make uh, an immediate impact i don't know whether technically um correct but certainly i felt as though it was way too much off that front foot so just that minor adjustment in position made a massive difference so straight away you'd go then to say well in that case the lessons would have been the route to go down because if that was and is an issue then a pga professional would have corrected that pretty much straight away let alone all the different technicalities in my swing that were incorrect just that ball position made a massive difference so the shots that you see me in now are with the b21 and if i'm honest with you i can hit uh, a decent drive with the b21 there's no doubt about that and I've played really well with it for the last year, so there's no reason why I should dismiss that straight away. But what you will also see is that tendency to throw in that sort of low left. And I did it twice, three times in a group. We're not going to watch every shot I hit, but I did it two or three times in a group of 10, 12 shots. And percentage wise, that's really bad. So for me, when I hit a swing that is, uh, is sort of uh, a bit of a fade, which is the, my go to shot off the tee, then the B21 sort of helps me. As the round goes on, I mentioned it earlier, when I, when I get a little bit quicker on the, and a bit more confident maybe, sort of playing well, and I go after a few, that's when the problem starts to occur. I can't hit much of a right to left shot without overdoing it, and that shaft then becomes really sort of uh, unstable, if you like, and I start to throw in that low left and certainly gets a little bit uh, all over the place. And that's the only worry I've got if I was looking at these and then switched on, 
over into the epic don't forget with that hazardous smoke shaft in 60 grams stiff much more like where i'd be used to hitting and if i'm honest with you it was a lot more stable is what i would say but stable at this point where i'm kind of warmed up and i'm hitting a lot of shots so it's that compromise between the two i've really enjoyed it in that sort of 45 gram shaft regular in the b21 and it's a kind of very much an easy go and you have to don't do it have to go after it too much it's uh if you're swinging nice and steady it's good but there are those tendencies for that low left so on a personal level i would certainly consider changing the shaft and looking into that in a bit more detail and certainly had addressed the more regular setup uh, of way that face sits with the epic speed it was much more easy on my eye but much more like what i'm used to but i'm also wary of i just don't want to jump ship into another driver simply because of a, a couple of months uh, six or eight weeks of bad driving so i will work that out on a personal level and decide what i want to do but the message of the video is always the same really i think that whatever you choose it doesn't matter it's each to their own this idea of an opinion um it, it, the only opinion that matters is yours is what i was trying to say and if you kind of uh, decide that it's the lesson route that you want to go down absolutely fantastic if you decide you want to buy a new club then that's absolutely fine as well uh, these people that criticize one route or the other we're in no place to do it you just do what you like to do and what you get the enjoyment out of the game for and like i said there's no harm in buying new clubs if you can afford to do it and if that brings you a little bit of pleasure and also the fact that like i said from a mental perspective golf is massive and even if it increases confidence maybe only for a short period anyway but uh i'll let you decide on that but more importantly throughout this video i've said on a couple of occasions it's your opinions and when you've been faced with that same dilemmas what would you have done in this situation anyway that's me thank you for watching uh thumbs up comments down below and i'll catch you all very soon you put the lights on mate, mid flow